Hmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome to my new mod. This is a snap editing mod. For those of you that don't know, if you go to the toolbar over here and you click points, you've got all these snap points that you can add to things. There's two types. There's uh, ones that don't have rotation information and ones that do. These are all rotational. You can see by the little arrows. It just means that if you, uh, you know, rotate it wrongly, it'll sort of write the rotation as it lands. Now, snaps are very, very cool, makes the mod a lot easier to use in my opinion, but there's a new function that allows you to define tags to your snaps. So any snap that has a tag will only allow objects that have the same tag to snap to it. So for example, this object here, if I just print them out, if you look in the bottom corner of the screen, it says snap tag skill. If I add to this one here, snap tag skill, and you can see that this will snap to snap tag skill, but it'll also snap to anything with no tags. But the clue, which does not have that snap tag skill, so if I print out the tags on this one, it says snap tag clue. This will not snap to that uh, snap point, but it'll snap to anything that has no tags, right? So it's a very powerful feature for doing advanced mods, in my opinion. But it's a real pain to do because you need to place all your tags, you need to right click every tag, and often you need to then copy all that stuff to other things, which re requires repeating the process but not so because now this mod will copy stuff for you. So for example, in this bag here, there's 16 investigators. I'll just pull one out. This is sort of like my other mod. It'll edit anything on the sitting on the tool, any object sitting on the tool, but it will also edit everything inside a bag. So it'll process this entire bag. It also does decks. Like if, uh, if I had this deck here, it would process each individual card inside that deck. So if I just, uh, you can see that at the moment the buttons are red and they won't do anything. If you click on them, they'll error. The way to get this to work is that you just get your source object. After you've set it all up and put all your tags on it, you can just right click the source object, go scripting, GUID to copy the GUID, right click it and paste it into the description of the mod. And then this button will turn green. So it's detected the source object. And then you just hit boom, copy. And now, if I look at the points, you can see all the points have been copied to Ashcan Pete, but they've also been copied to everyone in that bag as well. Okay, so it's a very, very quick way of copying tags around. Uh, there's another button uh, which you can use, which is says preserve scale. That just means preserve the scale of the sort of the target object, but if you click Copy scale, it'll also copy the scale of uh, the object you're using in your scene. So boom, and now it's copied the scale and you can see all these are also the same size. Okay. Now the mod can do a little bit more than that. I'll just get rid of those sheets, bring out some new sheets for the demo. This is just another set of uh, sheets that have no tags. You can see there's, there's no tags on them. One of the annoying things about setting up nice player boards and stuff is that you've got to right click all these tags and then you've got to copy them. So this copy process will copy any existing tags on them. So if I come down here, it's a, uh, so that's got snap tag skill. I'm, also, I'm going to tag it also with uh, test remove tag there. Uh, test to remove. And that's, so that's got two, that's got uh, a tag on it. Okay, so if I if I copy that to Manly, to Mandy, you can see that uh, the existing tags are copied. Okay, but a little cool feature of the mod is that when you're setting up your mod and you're getting everything and you're placing it and you're organizing the layout of your mod. Often, the way I do it anyway, is that I get everything at the right scale, the right size, and I place everything on where I want them to be. 
Okay, and once I have everything in the right spot, I can then add the tags and everything's fine. But now I don't need to actually right click every single object, right? So basically, if I look at this clue and I print it out, it says snap tag underscore clue. This is snap tag underscore money. So these are tags on the objects themselves, okay? And when I now do the copy, the copy actually looks at the objects and it sees if there's any objects sharing the same space as the snap. And if it is, and it finds a snap that's named snap tag underscore whatever, it'll then copy that tag to the snap. Okay, so just to show you this, if I right click on this tag here, there's no tags on it. If I right click on this tag here, there's no tags on it. Now I'm gonna copy it, preserving scale. And if you look, I've right click on this tag here, you can see it's got snap tag underscore clue. So this clue is only gonna snap there, it won't snap to any other point on this thing. So it's a really, really quick way of building your mod now. So you can just copy tags around, you can copy the tag, you can copy the, set up the, the tags on the snaps. It's, it's pretty cool in my opinion. Now the mod can do a number of other things. Uh, basically you've got the spawn platform and the spawn note card, and you might know this from my other editing mod. This is allows you to just quickly edit some tags using the, uh, the game keys. So if you go options, game keys, there's a number of hot keys here and I've been using them to show you. So you've got print tags, clear tags, turn on, on or off the tooltip, uh, add tags, replace tags and remove tags. And the way that works is you just write, you just spawn the, the pad. So, you know, you just uh, spawn the pad and then spawn a note card, put the note card on the pad, right click it and in the description, you just add your tag. So I'm gonna go add, this is a tag. And then I'm gonna go add more tags. And I'm gonna go add, show remove okay and then i'm going to go remove show remove now let's just have a look at this thing what this is basically saying is is that anything that has the prefix add is going to be added to something and anything that has the prefix remove will be removed but it won't do it all at once. You can have multiple things and the re you can name it and you know, see my other tag mod for more details on how that all works. But the point is I can now go to this. So if I print, if I print, if you look in the bottom corner, I press the print button, it's got snap tag clue on it. Let's just copy that. So I can go boom and I've cleared it. So now if I print it, there's nothing on it. I can go Add, adding tags and you can see, oh, I cleared it back. <laughs> adding tags and now I print it, you can see the tags have been added. I can go uh, replace tags, so it will just replace the existing tags. And so now you can see it's got uh, show remove and you can see in here it's got show remove. Notice it's not case sensitive. So I can go remove tag and now I'll print it out uh, remove tag, beg your pardon. And now printed out, you can see that it's uh, it's missing. And that's just a quick way that you can add tags to your objects as you're going around. So I'll come down, I'm placing a, my object here. I go, okay, I want that to be add colon, I want that to be add colon snap tag underscore clue, right? And I can just go, okay, I want that. And I want this to be called, you know, underscore clue. And then I can just copy all the tags and it's been tagged correctly on the snaps as well. I hope that was making sense. I seem to have gone a little off kilter here. The point is you, you have this thing, you can have add and remove. And there's a little extra function as well 
which is coming from the other mod. So if you go, if you press pre and go into the top mode and you draw a scripting zone, like so, and you can draw it around where you have tags on the objects, okay? You'll note that the scripting zone is still not working. If you press that, it tells you that you need to tag the scripting zone as tag tool underscore script zone. So let's just uh, do that. Scripting, we go tag, and we'll just go tag tool underscore script zone. You can see the button's now gone yellow. And you've got the same functions as the as the print as the hotkeys. So you got replace clear, add, and remove. So I'm just gonna, so if I set this to add snap clue and I go add, uh, replace, let's do replace, boom. It replaces all those tags. So they now have the snap tag clue, okay? So the clue's snapping there this one won't snap but I can add other things too so I can go add skill that's what I called these isn't it skill yep and now I can just go uh, add and this is added to the existing ones so you can see that now all these cards have clue and skill So I can come in here and just change this to clue and make this remove. And I can remove by tag as well. So now you can see that the tags just have skill. And this will work on a lot of objects at once. And this is so, you know, basically you can do large amount of things at once. So, so say, let me just load up a, the, the file again. I'm going to get the 16 investigator sheets. I'm going to right click and go to scripting GUI, paste that into the description field here. I'm going to go copy scale and I'm just going to copy all the tags. All right. So I've got all these tags on here, but none of them are tagged. And this is a situation you might be in if you want to update an existing mod with uh, tags or whatever, you know, something like that. So you can use the script zone to do multiple objects at once. So if I just, if I uh, unlock this guy and I just put a, a temporary tag underneath him, so this thing is now, See how it's snapping to the floor there. And then I just snap all these guys on top, right? Now you can see that they've all got their own tags, but I've, I, and then I can just go P, I can draw my script zone. I've got to tag it correctly. And remember, if you go to the, if you right click and look in the GM notes, you have to be the black uh, hand to do that. You can see the, the tag tool script zone here, uh, the tag that you need to use. Right click it, tags, add, button goes green. We're gonna hit replace. And I just need to spawn the platform in the note card. Right click, I'll call that add. Skill, uh, what was it called? Uh, tag, snap tag, add snap tag underscore skill. And I just go boom. And you can see that it is actually edited all the tags. So you can see they've got skill there. These ones have got skill. So it's edited everything inside the volume of the X and Y of that thing. And you can actually have multiple script zones as well. So I could do this. Uh, let's, uh, let's just get this script zone. 
I'll just go put this up like so. Okay. And we only want to edit. We only, we only, we only want to get the clue this time. So we'll just edit that script zone so it fits around there. Fine, that'll cover it. But I also want this one up here and I don't want to move it for some reason, whatever. So I'm just going to pr uh, I'm just going to make another script zone here and I'm going to tag that the same. Uh, tags, tag it the same. And I'm going to call this clue. And this one here is going to be tagged with the clue. So what I'm trying to say here is that it will do multiple objects and multiple script zones. And that's pretty much the function of how this works. So I'll show you a very quick example of how I would use this mod. Okay. So say this was my guy. He's got no tags. I would say, well, I want to have the clue here. I want to have the money here. I'm going to do it very roughly. You can use the, the shadow to kind of get a, a little idea of where things are going. And I want a tag on every single one of these things, every one of these spots. Now I'm going to use this very roughly, obviously. But uh, you get the idea. I'll, I'll just do just do those ones like that. Save a bit of time. Okay. Now I've already named this. So that's snap tag clue, snap tag money, snap tag sanity, snap tag health. And these are all snap tag skill. I then, so I've got it all set up where I want. I then just uh, make sure that the object is locked. Uh, the, so the way tagging, the way adding uh, snaps is, is that if the object is not locked, it'll use the center point of the object you click on to make the tag on the locked object beneath it. So these are loose and these, the, the trap ash can is locked. Then I'll just go bam, 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 bam. They're all tagged. And then I can just grab this, put it here, right click, GUI, bam, and boom. Uh, let's copy the scale as well, just for fun. And you can see all the tags have been copied and this, the, the, the tags have been copied too. So you can see that, uh, It'll snap to the snap point there, but none of the other snap points are active. And that's it. That's the how this mod works. Hope you like it and it speeds up your mod creation. And I will see you guys next time.